the reputation of America on the global stage? Because America still remains the great superpower, but that's not going to last for you know, many more decades. We know that. Other emerging superpowers are coming. And the rest of the world's looking at this, frankly, pretty aghast at what they're seeing. The Statue of Liberty closed. You know, um, what is going on in America is the feeling back in Britain or Australia or wherever it may be. What about America Incorporated and how it moves forward and restores its credibility and its reputation? Well, I think, first of all, Piers, the, the place where it needs to restore its reputation, most importantly, is in the eyes of the American people. And we have these, gov these government officials that we have elected to represent us. And for some reason, they think that we work for them instead of vice versa. So as important as the national stage is, I'm more concerned, first and foremost, about how they are treating the American people, the hardworking people on Main Street. That being said, the big issue here, it doesn't matter if we pass a budget or a continuing resolution that we are broke and we will have to borrow for any budget that has passed. And if we don't raise that debt ceiling, well, then you know what ha ends up happening is that we end up um, in a situation where we, we could potentially default on our debt. And that becomes a big problem in the world stage because they are the ones that are currently funding us. Okay, final point to you, Grover. You've got to be very brief with this. Sure. What happened to Ronald Reagan's 11th commandment? Thou shalt not speak ill of any fellow Republican. Well, he invented that when he was running uh, ahead as the favorite. Uh, it was not something he believed in strongly when he was challenging the sitting president for it. To the question of 2014, though, that what the Democrats have to keep in mind is Obama was willing to compromise in 2011 because he was up for election. He agreed to cut two and a half trillion in spending that the Republicans insisted on. We got the sequester. Fast forward, he's passed his election. But there are a number, six, seven uh, Democrats up for the Senate, who've just cast votes just recently not to delay the individual mandate, even though Obama's given delays to the big insurance companies, the big businesses, and big labor unions, not to have equity between government employees who work for Congress and you and me, uh, and not to get rid of the stupid tax that Obamacare has that makes uh, medical devices more expensive. The Democrats are now going to turn around and vote not to keep the Veterans Affairs open, not to keep the National Parks open, and not to keep the D.C. open. They're accumulating votes that are going to cost them Senate seats, and Obama is not looking out after their interests. Okay. He's already passed his election. All right. Well, I'm glad I didn't ask you for the long-winded response. Um, <laughs> but, Grover, it's always good to see